At first glance, this problem might look somewhat overwhelming, but it's really not that bad if we break it down into the steps and um, just pay attention to the questions that are being asked and the data that's relevant to answer those questions. So um, the first requirement here is saying uh, only tell me what the overhead cost per unit is for each of the products we're producing, Model A and Model B, and we're to assume that we're using a plant-wide rate. In other words, that's that peanut butter costing approach we talked about, which is very general and it's subject to all the errors that averaging presents uh, to us. So here's um, w what I'm going to do first is we have to establish what is that overhead rate. And so the overhead rate is a function of the entire overhead, which we're um, told in this problem is $660,000, and that's listed right here on all the overhead costs. So those are all the overhead costs, and we need to have some way to split those costs up. And they tell us to do that based on the direct labor hours. So we've got to dig through here, and um, you can see that this is all of the relevant data. We've got prime costs, how many we make a year, and uh, look at this, direct labor hours. So that's the information we're looking for. You can tell that between the two models we have 440,000 hours that are consumed. And so this here is going to give us what our rate is. We simply take all of the overhead costs, the 660, and we divide that by the hours, and we come up with, and that is misleading because Excel has rounded here for me, so let me expand the view. Oops. Sorry. Uh, $1.50. Um, but again, what does that mean? $1.50 of what? This is per direct labor hour. So that's the rate at which we're going to apply the overhead to each of the two products. So next up, um, we're, we're going to answer the problem here that says compute the overhead cost per unit. So let's just pick I don't know, Model A. Uh, you need to first determine how many direct labor hours um, Model A uses. And we're told that right here, direct labor hours for Model A is 140,000. Okay, well, the rate we're going to apply overhead at is this number we just figured out over here, the dollar fifty. So the total overhead applied to Model A using this peanut butter costing approach is $210,000. Now that's in total, but the problem asks us to give the overhead in a per unit um, figure. So I'm going to take, whoops, sorry about that. I'm going to take the $210,000 and I'm going to divide that by the total number of uh, units made for Model A, which is 30,000. So my overhead, maybe I can do it with the line on the line below here, and let's just label this. This is the total overhead applied to Model A. And so we spread that out at 210,000 over the 30 thousand units. And there's your answer. The overhead cost per unit for Model A is seven dollars. I'll just do that same thing right over here for Model B. I'll move a little bit faster. The direct labor hours that Model B is going to consume is listed right here at three hundred thousand. That rate stays the same. It's still a dollar fifty because we're using that very general rate. And so the total overhead applied to Model B is $450,000. Again, we need to get that in a per, into a per unit amount, so we need to spread that $450,000 out over 300,000 parts. And there you have it. Your per unit overhead cost for Model B is $150,000. For Model A is $7 using that single plant-wide allocation rate. And that answers the entire portion of that first requirement.